A white blonde tally. This is going to be white blonde. This is ash. I like to feel it because I can feel if there's crumbs on there. I know uh, some people will say, hey, you shouldn't touch stuff before you paint it because of oil in your skin. But uh, I don't say that. Okay. So I've got my white blonde mixed up here, which is just the transparent white. Use a little less air on this one than normal. And uh, make sure you hit the corners, the edge. You know, this part. That's where I like to aim. And then you're going to, by doing that, end up spraying like halfway down there. It's not really a burst, but you're getting some on the top there. That'll just kind of go away when you paint the top surface. Because if you were to just spray the side like this and then spray the top, you might miss the edge, you know, that corner? And then it would stand out. So I'm not pulling the trigger all the way. I'm just pulling it a little bit. I'm not looking for a lot of material right here to come out. You can control the trigger volume. This knob here, where you can just control how much material you comes out by how much you pull the trigger. These paint guns have two levels on the on the trigger, right? First level. Just air. When you pull a little bit more, you start getting fluid. You can even control your air amount if you're really careful about it. Or you can just uh, control it right here. Anyway, what blood? This side. go that easy and tomorrow it will get a clear coat I could clear it right now I could put the first coat of clear on there right now but we got a person that does top coat clear coat all day so we just save them up and that person just does clear all day it's a more effective way of getting stuff done